To edit text after creating it, first select the text and then click on Edit Text Tool. You must highlight the letters you wish to change. You can select the text using the mouse by clicking and dragging over the letters you wish to change. You can also use the arrow keys and click on the position where you would like to start editing. Hold the shift key down to select one character at a time. If you hold the shift key down, select a character and then hold the control key down, the software will select one word at a time. Each time you press the arrow key, a word will be selected instead of a character. After selecting the letters you want to replace, type in the new text. You can also use Control plus Home or Control plus N to move the cursor to the beginning of the lettering or to the end of the lettering. Begin by holding the Shift key down and using your left arrow key to select a letter. Then hold the Control key and select the Home key to select all the letters. You can also hold the shift key down and select the first letter and then select control end to select the entire word. You can now change the type of font by clicking on the drop down arrow and choosing a new font. You can also change the size of the lettering either through the up and down arrows or highlighting the value entering a number and pressing enter. You can change the letters to bold or also to italics. You can also select the lettering and use the control handles to visually change the lettering. You can rotate the lettering. You can change the width and the height or the percent of scale in tool options. If you want to make a proportional change, make sure you have proportional checked. You can skew the lettering by using a skew handle either on the top, bottom, or side of the selection handle. So as you can see, there are many ways to edit lettering after it has been created.